Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make new entry tabs for new assignments or new tasks that you did in robotics, computer science, essentials, or even your after school robotics team. So in a different video, I tell you how to fill this thing out. Um, but for making new tabs, we need to know the process. So right here, this one that has a lock on it, that is the tempo. That's the one that you're not supposed to type on. If you try to type on it, including me, if I try to type on it, it's going to throw this up and say, heads up, and you're trying to edit this part. because You're not supposed to edit that part. So if that happens, get out of there because you should make a new tab. So I've already made first entry. So that would be the first date that we met or the first assignment that I was given. If I need to make a new one, I just click duplicate. It's going to make a new one down here copy of notebook template. I rename it to activity 1.1.1 if it's like computer science essentials. The date with a brief name if it's robotics after school. So maybe it is September 30th and we're working on the robot base. Um, or if it's robotics class, it could be the name of the assignment that was given in the classroom. Um, but you got to give it a name. So I'm going to put entry two. All right. All of this is customizable through our drop down menus. So here, this is set up for the App School Robotics. I have team members here. Anyone you work with, you can list here and then you can select them within the template. Um, the objectives, probably don't want to do too much changing on this, but. Um, it's just a listing and you'll see in a minute for the objectives. And then topics are drafting code, outreach, engineering, testing, sponsorship, documentation, strategy, and planning. And once again, all of these are, are editable. And then they will show up over here. Like how, if I have three objectives for the day, I could fill this out for three objectives. Um, if I would wanna type what those objectives are, and what category they were for. They might be for drafting, maybe somebody doing an outreach program. And whoever you assign those to will show up here too. So if you put the names of the people there, they will show up. When you're all done, you should reflect on the progress that was made for the day. Um, up here, it just might be meeting on September 30th and the date. Um, or maybe this is an outreach event and you put that there. These boxes are for you to put your um, documentation of what's going on. So whether that is a picture of the robot or that is a on shape drafting image, drawing or file or screenshot can go there. These can be results from a spreadsheet, like if you were testing the robot. Um, these can be hand drawn and take a picture with your phone and upload it into here. And then you describe what the person's looking at here, like what you did. I mean, really, you just want to put a brief, concise um, explanation with detail of what was done for the day. Um, down here, our next steps. So based upon the what happened throughout the day, new objective. Um, maybe we just got done putting the wheels on the robot and now we need to wire the motors. Um, so all of that would go in here and the person that's going to be assigned to it. That'd be engineering. I would actually type in here what I'm doing. And once again, all of our team members are going to show up there. So now this is actually attendance. So not everybody comes to every single robotics practice or is there every single day working on something. So here, we click on the person. If you're that one of those people, you would, it's your responsibility to come over here and type your name in. Even though it's here, this is going to act as your signature because we don't have any signature apps that we may use. So once that has been entered and completed, then you can go to the table of contents and enter your data. So I, I did a sample one here. Maybe the first practice is strategy and planning because you haven't done anything yet. 
um, you would type the task. So this was maybe this is going to be first meeting date for robotics. You don't need to put the date because the date's going to be over here. Um, maybe you're still in the process of strategy and planning. When you're done, you can come back and click this later. And you'll probably put a link to any of the documents you created during this time in here so that you have an easy way of finding them. This is also going to work as your engineering notebook to turn in at competition. Then over here, you put in the date. And notice it's already hyperlinked to the first entry. You do that by going insert, edit link, and you hyperlinked it. We, I'm going to get rid of that so you can see how I did that. You go to sheets in the spreadsheet, go to first entry, or whichever one it is, and hyperlink it. And it'll be hyperlinked from that point forward. So that is how you use the engineering notebook. You can edit the drop down menu. You can make copies of the notebook template, and then you can enter all of the data in here as needed. Um, my email is included here for any files you need to share. If it's robotics, it's really important that you share with uh, me on OnShape, Brent Das Johnson at ksd111.net, not .org, .net. And then everything else for email and everything else, you should use the .org email, which is also listed right there. Hope this is helpful and have a wonderful day.